Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and in front of me I've got an old mini bike frame. I found this however many years back at a barn sale for 10 bucks. Just a frame, didn't have a motor, didn't have a seat, didn't have anything, which I thought was perfect for electrifying. Um, I've had this kicking around for a long while. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, I was at uh, Milwaukee Maker Fair. A friend of mine had his scooter over there running off of a pair of uh, Ryobi 18 volt batteries. Um, I've got a bunch of Ryobi uh, 18 volt drills and things like that. So I got some of those batteries around. And a lot of times systems for little projects like this are 36 volts. So I thought, aha, two 18 volt batteries in series, positive to negative, positive to negative. Um, that's gonna be 36 volts. So I mail ordered myself an electric motor. There's a, a 1020 motor. Uh, this one's rated for 36 volts DC, uh, 800 watts. So that's a little over one horsepower. And it was a kit with just kind of a generic motor controller. It's good for um, up to 40 amps. Has a key switch with it. So I wired this up. I just used some uh, cannibalized parts to make the connections for the batteries here. That right there, for example, is actually the part from uh, a broken impact. And this here is from a broken uh, battery charger. Let me just double check something before we get started here. Okay, I got a good connection still, good. So down here, um, also included with the kit was a throttle. This is a foot throttle. I'd rather have a uh, grip throttle because it's a cycle, um, but it came with and I'll, I'll swap out the throttle. That'll be fine. Um, I've also got my multimeter uh, plugged into one of the connectors here so I can check out the voltage. So right now the batteries are plugged in, but this is off. I'm gonna turn it on with the key switch and let's look at the uh, multimeter here when we do. And now we can see our voltage comes up 13 or 39.22 volts. Um, we've got our throttle over here. And I'm gonna push that with my foot and hang on to this motor because you gotta keep in mind the inside of the motor probably weighs more than the outside. And that's gonna just spin wrong if I don't hang on to it. So here we go. And it's even spinning the right way. Don't know if that comes across on video or not. And you can see the voltage drop a bit under load. About one hour, one horsepower of electric on a little, uh, little cycle like this would be pretty nice to get all that electric torque. Uh, with the batteries, I can just charge those up with um, battery chargers I already have. And these batteries even have a little, um, kind of a basic charge indicator right on them when you press that button, which is nice too. So by reusing these tool batteries, it's something I've already got. I've already got chargers for them. I don't have to mess with a BMS and I've got a power indicator right there as well. We'll turn this back off. So the next thing I'll need to do though is unfortunately I got a motor that didn't have a foot mount. I really just wanted a foot mount to go to there. I don't have any way to mount this down right now. So I'll probably have to do some sort of a face thing that I'll connect in here. I've got a couple of metric, I think these are M6 volts in there. I'll make a piece of steel with two holes in it or something. And I wanna make it um, slide so we can adjust uh, tension on the chain. But uh, maybe if I ever get a free Saturday afternoon sometime soon, I'll finish this up and make a working little mini electric motorcycle. Lots of space in the frame. I'll have uh, cargo room and everything.